continue the conversation with Zimbabwean-based human rights lawyer Doug Coltart. Doug, it seems to be getting more desperate by the day from the, a human rights perspective. What are lawyers like yourself doing in this moment? Yeah, there really is a, a serious uh, human rights crisis. I mean, there has been a human rights crisis in Zimbabwe uh, for a long time now. But uh, what we have seen in the, in the past uh, few weeks, uh, particularly an, um, an upsurge in, in uh, arrests for utterly absurd things, such as people being arrested for, uh, for carrying a Zimbabwe flag uh, or, for, uh, or for protests uh, or for a placard saying, save the babies. Um, and, and, and more worryingly, an upsurge in, uh, in abductions. Uh, so two of my clients over the weekend, Terence uh, Guta and Loveridge Chinvende, uh, were abducted by unknown men, uh, uh, brutalized, handed over to the police, tortured for hours uh, in the bush before being taken to the police station. These are uh, very uh, concerning signs. Uh, others who have been tortured uh, are, are in a very bad way. Um, um, uh, another young uh, in, in Bulawayo, uh, the, the nephew of a prominent journalist there, uh, who is, uh, is actually fighting for his life, facing uh, acute renal failure as a result of, of brutal torture. Do you think that the Zimbabwean government can legitimately and credibly call itself a democratic government while these things are happening? Absolutely not. I mean, uh, Zimbabwe has not uh, been a democratic country for, uh, for many uh, decades now. Uh, we haven't had free and fair elections uh, for, for many decades now. Uh, it's a government that rules uh, by force, not by the consent of, uh, of the people. Um, it's, um, uh, we've seen the increased militarization of, uh, of the state. Uh, we have the, the military has been deployed since the military coup in November 2017. The military has never gone back to the barracks. We, we passed through, I passed through military checkpoint on, on my way to work. We've just heard that, uh, that, uh, that uh, you know, uh, General Chiwenga is now our uh, Minister of Health. We have another soldier who is the Permanent Secretary for Health. We're effectively living in a military state now. Mm -hmm. What were your impressions of the statement that was made earlier on in the day by President Emerson Nangagwa? What were the things that um, you know, stood out for you as he was making that address in, in an attempt to try and, and quell the tensions and, I suppose, reinstill some level of, of control and say that the situation is, quite frankly, not as bad as it's being reported? Well, it was an utterly bizarre address, and if the intention was uh, to to try and uh, and and ease tensions, then by uh, by calling, uh, uh, you know, speaking of uh, of of opposition terrorist groups, uh, is is to just as the exact opposite. When uh, Mr. Munangagwa is speaking of opposition terrorist groups, what he's talking about are journalists who are reporting on corruption. He's talking about students who are uh, 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 protesting at the universities, carrying uh, Zimbabwe flags, peacefully protesting, citizens exercising their rights. That's, it seems, from the actions of the government, what, uh, what the state regards as, uh, as terrorists. Uh, and, and certainly that is how, how the Zimbabwe regime is, is, is treating uh, its own citizens. Has Mr. Mnangagwa brought anything new to Zimbabwe? Uh, n not really. If, if, any, if anything, uh, he, uh, things have gotten worse in the last few years than, than at least the last decade or so of, of Mugabe's rule. Of course, there were, uh, there were very dark uh, uh, periods of Mugabe's rule, uh, the 80s in particular with the, the Kukuruhundi genocide, of which Munangagwa played a central role uh, uh, to the 2008 uh, atrocities. Um, but really, uh, I think it's, it, in some ways, it's, it's, you, you can't even think of them as two different regimes. This is a continuation uh, of, uh, of the same old regime uh, that uh, whenever its power uh, or its stranglehold on power is, uh, is, is threatened in any way, even if it's by peaceful citizens, um, its, uh, its default settings is to resort to, to violence. That's what we saw in the 80s. That's what we saw in the early 2000s up to 2008. 
And that's what we are seeing now, is uh, violence being meted out against peaceful citizens in order to retain power.